come on, Timmy. Come on. <laughs> hey, it's definitely the best rock on Gogar Fitz, isn't it? It's awesome. Haha, <laughs> that is. Take it, it goes up there then. It goes up there. Are we talking um, at Mammoth Direct? Yeah, then you come out left at that niche. You're onto the wall. And that's then head up that ramp line. That's exactly it, yeah. And then you're onto the groove there. Off the groove to victory. Okay. What do you reckon? All right. Okay, <laughs> yeah. It looks awesome. Damn it, man, when you're doing, when you set off, or when you stand underneath like an E8 or an E9 and you're gonna go for it, you know, you've really got to go, you've got to pull the stops out. Mate, nice meeting you. <laughs> yeah. It's been a pleasure climbing with you. You know, it's not a dead cert that you're gonna get up it. You really do have to commit and go for it. And, and when, you, when you're teetering on the edge of that, you know, you absolute limit. It's uh, it's exciting. Come on, Tim. But obviously, there's a fine line between getting to the top and really fucking yourself up. Okay, watch this. Yeah. Oh, my feet up. Damn it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> 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 it was all right, <laughs> Good effort. Coming down? Yeah. What do you reckon? It's going to be interesting. <laughs> I bet you just danced up this bit, did you? <laughs> Mate, you okay? You <laughs> chunk smells that for me. Go now. Yeah. <laughs> Unleash the old magic. Do you remember how you felt last time here? Oh, I don't think I felt as wobbly as this, that's for sure. Well, the conditions were very similar. Johnny Dawes belaying me, who um, kind of very similar to Tim in his let's have it attitude. And uh, that's what we did. We just we just went for it. Man of Tim's calibre, a pair of rock boots and a uh, couple of slings, he'll have it cracked. If, I, if all my gear rips and I end up in the sea, can you come and get me? <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing about extinction is that it's the hardest route I've ever tried in the style that I'm trying. You know, I've never tried to do any eight ground up. And it is absolutely in my limit. All he's really got to do is actually make his way to the climb. He hasn't really got to it yet. You know, when, when Stuart did the second ascent of this, he could do 15 one arm pull-ups. You know, the, the crux move on Superman down at Crestbrook, which is like, what, 8 a font 8 a plus. He was really, really strong. But, you know, I'm, I'm sort of going for it more than having the ability to actually get up it, if you know what I mean. What's this? So I missed climbing. I didn't think I did miss climbing until um, I came down here today. And I've got to say, yeah, I, uh, I, th I think I, um, I possibly do. There he goes. A bit more Blue Lagoon. <laughs> oh, just other commitments. Family. Give me a requirement to uh, work and earn some money. 
Um, I tried climbing on to the weekends, but it, it got really frustrating as the sort of ability went down pretty quickly. Um, and really, it's a bit sad because uh, I climbed because I enjoyed the outdoors. Then I guess your uh, motivation changes when you improve, or possibly it change, uh, changes. But um, now, the worse I got at it, the um, the less motivated I was to do it, so I decided to stop altogether and really just focus my efforts on um, on running the business. And sort of eight years later, having, um, as I say, been out to uh, to a place in Spain, skydiving with a bunch of, uh, of friends, they really all came flooding back what I was uh, missing out on. Yeah, it's a tricky little that number one. that is. Yeah. <laughs> Camaraderie and uh, an adventure, what I miss. One nil for the old fat. <laughs> that's what coming out to places like this today. That's uh, sort of giving me, uh, giving it back to me. Just in case. Yeah. Basically, just in case. If I kick that top sling off when I'm going up to the friend slot, yep. somehow, I mean, I'm going to try really hard not to, but if that happens and it all goes pear-shaped... Do you want me to jump down there? I reckon you need to have it down there. Yeah. I mean, basically, you don't have to do this. Yeah, hopefully, I'm not going to kick it off and hopefully I'm not going to fall off either. No, fingers crossed. But like, you know, just you know, in case. Call of duty. The difficult part of the route is only protected by these two slings on like really small little little spikes. They're sort of spikes that you'd just be like, that, that's not gear. And I've got these really thin slings that just fit down the side and then I'm using like a steel screw gate carabiner to try and keep the thing down because basically if you kick them off as you're climbing past them, you're in a lot of trouble. Climbing on extinction is really technical, I think. And basically, you've really got to keep a lot of body protection all the time because you're always on side pull. So it's all about if you're pulling really hard on one hand, you've got to push really hard on your foot and there's got to be a, like a connection between the two. And it's, it's, it's quite goey as well. Because whenever they get, get a good flat hold, your footholds are pretty crap really. So you, you, know, you can't really hang on that much. You've got to carry on going and you need definitely a sense of urgency. I don't like that spike. I hate it. I really hate it. And you just grab it with two hands and then you put your gear over it as well. And it's like, you know, that that's the only, it's everything. I don't know that it's going to stay there for much longer. I see cracks all the way around every side of it. And, and basically, if it comes off, you're fucked.
Come on, for fuck's sake. Oh. Come on. Ah. Oh. Fuck me. Chill the fuck out. Chill out to me. It's just got really sweaty. It's horrible. Oh, Take us! I'm blue! Good man. That's a journey. <laughs> <laughs> Very good one. Fantastic. <laughs> Basically, the bottom line is <laughs> testing yourself to the absolute maximum limit that you think that you can do and achieving that. And the closer you get to that line, and the more you get away with it, the more you get out of it. For me, that's where the, that's the deal. When you get away with it, it feels amazing. It just feels amazing. <laughs>